Hey guys, so today I want to do a quick little enter to benchmark test here as well on iOS 8.2 beta 4. I did a Geekbench test as well if you want to check it out. So the 6 Plus, the 6 Plus, the iPhone 6, the 5S, and the iPhone 5, and the iPhone 4S. So you can kind of see there that they are running 8.2 and I showed in other videos that it's beta 4. So. That's pretty sweet, so um, let's just uh, hit start here. I'm not sure exactly what this test is gonna test, but I think it tests most things. I wonder if we can start them all at the same time. Do I have that many fingers? weird bro why did I even try so that's, that's the test so you want to test everything CPU GPU RAM storage multitask okay I'm ready I'm ready so let's go bam 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 let's go yeah I also closed it down everything so nothing in the background Hmm. So, just to use as I usually do in these videos, the iPhone 5 is usually three times faster uh, than the 2D 4S, I mean three times faster. The iPhone 5S is usually two times faster than the iPhone 5, and then only like 10-15% extra power inside of the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus compared to the iPhone 5S. So it doesn't look like this is going to take that long, so that's good news. That's good news. And definitely let me know if you want to see any other tests, maybe if there's any other cool app that can test something cool. That would be sweet. So what's the progress here? Everyone is on 25%, sweet. That's weird. Testing CPU float performance. CPU, okay. To 4S is falling behind. It's interesting. Is it going to run the same time? Oh. Well, maybe it's going to take longer time uh, on the 6 Plus and on the iPhone 6 just because it's like a 720p and a 1080p display. That could be the case. Yeah. I don't know man, people like these tests, people like it, people like it, people love it. <laughs> people like it. Okay, now the iPhone 4S is really starting to go behind. I mean, 33% versus 53% on the iPhone 6 Plus. It's definitely falling behind. Wow, bro. That's some intense stuff. And then the iPhone 5, definitely a difference there. You did see that those lost the three iPhones here uh, the current it's very very identical there oh the poor baby the iPhone 4s the struggle it can't keep up <laughs> I mean here is really where you can see how big of a difference it actually is The struggle is real, for sure. No, the forest starts that fun, but then the all other they finish. <laughs> wow, it lags there. 
that's intense bro here you can definitely see it, the graphics performance wise how big of a difference it is if you would like max it out 99% 100% whoa sweet They are test is complete. My device. So we got twenty-nine thousand six hundred eight uh, on uh, the iPhone five. The 5, 5S gets um, forty-one thousand. So not actually twice the performance. Uh, then it would be sixty. But it definitely is a speed bump of like maybe thirty percent something like that uh, and then we do have from the 5s to the um, 26 we do get a bump from 41,000 to 48,000 so that's nice as I said they're around 20% a little bit of increase there 20, 15% maybe uh, and then we do have it, the iPhone 6 plus which even get the highest here 48,000 982 so that's a little bit higher there than what I get on the, the iPhone 6 so this is interesting let's see here what uh, are we gonna get around 10,000 yeah 13,245 on the iPhone 4s so I mean it's falling behind but could uh, still uh, be fun there to know so interesting details details Details. So here we are getting the scores here. You kind of can get an idea there of um, everything. This is very, very geeky stuff, of course. Not for everyone, but yeah, it's a little bit fun. So yeah, quick little video, checking that out. Hopefully you enjoy and hopefully I'll see you all in the next video. Definitely let me know if there what you want to see and I might do a video about it. Peace out.